YouTube Nation, what it do? Check this out, y'all. The difference in today's gang culture compared to the 80s when I came up. If you were to compare today's culture and that, my culture, where I come from, my era, we didn't have big homies with jobs. Now they got big homies with jobs. We didn't have big homies with kids and grandkids from the set. Now you got big homies with kids and grandkids from the set. One thing I will say about today's culture, <laughs> the young homies these days, they drink better wine than we did. <laughs> Y'all know we was silver satin. Shit, moked up. You know what I mean? So I knew where to get some ripple at. Shit, I knew that, that little liquor store used to be on 108th and Central right there from the county building. They used to sell ripple in that motherfucker. Moked up. You know what I mean? Golden Champel, uh, Thunder Chicken, which is Thunderbird, but Crips called it Thunder Chicken. Wild Irish Rose and all that shit, right? They drink a little better taste of wine. They got a better taste than wine than we do. I got to give them that. But the difference is. You know, just times has changed. Like I said, when you think of this gang culture, the 80s was still fresh, man. You got to think 69 when this cripping and stuff started. And then the 80s, that ain't a big time span, a gap. You know, I remember when I first went to Cork and Shoe and I was in the sale, my big homie Reveal player, Spark Brother, and I was like, I was in, it was like in 92, we were sellies in there. And I was like, he had been down like 10 years. And I was like, damn, 10 years, that's a long ass time. And this is like, you know, for me, I was like, in 92, I was 22. That's like, it's a long ass time. The homie been in the shoe. Homie been in prison 10 years. That was a long ass time to me. But once I started doing time, 10 years wasn't shit. Nigga did that dime and it was like on to the next. You know what I mean? Just it's just like, all right, 10, just go, boom, boom. It's, it's a mind state. It's a mind state you develop when you doing time. Call it institutionalized, whatever, nigga. But it's just a mind state that's developed amongst people during time in prison. After a certain amount of time, you look at it like that. Just It just gets to you like that. But anyway, y'all, I was just sitting up here tripping, just chilling, watching other videos on YouTube. And I was just, heard somebody say something about uh, today's generation, the culture today, compared to the culture of the 80s. I think that if we had what they have today, we would have been a little bit more remorseful. We would have been more, you know, it would have been a different time. But, you know, it's just it's just the advancement of society. Things is changing. Everything is growing. So the 80s, the 2000s, is a big difference. Now, all of us from that generation, we all see things like, you know, we need to slow this shit down because we got kids, not just I mean, grandkids. You know what I mean? We thinking like, damn, we don't want certain things to happen to our grandkids that we didn't did to other people's grandkids back in the days. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't inflicted harm on other people's grandkids, other people's kids, and now that fear of other people inflicting that same fear, that that same uh, damage, that 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 terror on ours, you know, that 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 haunts us. That haunts us because of the shit that we did as gang members that came up in the 70s and 80s because, like, damn, I don't want this to happen to my little, you know, you see your granddaughter, your grandson, you're like, you know, you're not like us. You don't want shit to happen to them. So you be like, like, wow. Deep shit right there, y'all. Check that out. Just think about that. Uh, you know, but, you know, we need to slow it down, man, because... What we doing out here, constantly warring with each other, constantly killing each other. We ain't, nobody's winning, bro. Y'all kill my homie, my homies gonna kill your homies. It's just, just, that's just the reality of this shit out here. This is what it do. So who wins? We don't win. We not getting nowhere. We think it's cool because niggas putting it out there like it's cool, but it's not. You know what I mean? When a lot of you niggas think it's cool and then you get in there and start snitching it because you niggas ain't really built like that. You know what I mean? But... Most niggas ain't, just period. Most niggas ain't built like that. Most niggas that's in this life, bro, is not built to last. Say it again, most niggas in this life is not built to last. They're not. They just, it's a seasonal shit. This is a seasonal job for some niggas. Some niggas come through this shit, it's seasonal. These niggas come out, seasonal. Niggas ain't never really been real full-time hood niggas. I done done that. 
I know that life. So I, I look back and I'm one of those ones who have that fear that's being haunted by certain things that I don't want to happen to my grandkids because the shit that I done did. So now it comes back on me as a form of karma to have me thinking and a paranoia because I'm thinking about mine now. The same way our grandparents thought about us. We didn't give a fuck because we was being selfish, right? All of us that's been, we was being selfish. We didn't give a fuck about what our grandparents was thinking about us. Now, we grandparents, we thinking about ours. And we want the younger homies out here now to think about what we're saying. And them niggas is like, fuck y'all, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Most of them is listening. Because most of them don't want the bullshit either. They want to enjoy life. Regardless of where they from, let them. Y'all gotta understand, bro. Y'all little niggas out here don't get it. Y'all warm behind shit y'all don't know nothing about. As a man, you should think, like, hold up, bro. What the fuck are we warm for? We don't know nothing about that shit, right? Because niggas do it like this. I'm gonna show you how niggas get. Be like, certain shit could happen in the hood with homies. And little homies would say, cuz I ain't got nothing to do with that shit, nigga. That shit happened before my time, right? Rightfully so. That before my time, I ain't got nothing to do with that. We don't know nothing about that, homie. We, we cool on that, right? This is what a lot of young niggas will say in a lot of hoods today. Everybody that's around my age and, you know, y'all know y'all probably didn't heard it if you, if you communicate with young homies from time to time. Check this shit out. They'll say, bro, that happened before my time. I don't have nothing to do with that. But you warm with these niggas across the street, around the corner, down the block, behind some shit that you don't know nothing about. Hypocrisy is there. Niggas don't get how deep hypocrisy is in our community. Niggas don't understand that shit. Hypocrisy is the biggest cancer in the motherfucking community because hypocrisy causes other things to grow from it. Whole lot of hypocrisy in the hood. Just like it's a whole lot of hypocrisy in the church. Go figure. It's all in the hood, right? The church, the hood. I'm just saying. Let's be real about this shit. Let's just sit back and think some time before you judge. Before you form an opinion, sit back and think. Formulate your thoughts. Educate yourself. Think about what the fuck you've been doing. Look at yourself and look what you're doing now. And think about what the fuck you care about. Then give me a call. I'm out. Peace.